In this video, we'll take a look at the American English website, and then I'll introduce you to our listening expert. On the American English website, teachers can find songs that have been prepared for teaching English as a foreign language. They are popular songs that many children in the U.S. know. The materials on the website include the actual songs in audio format, in addition to materials that teachers can use to teach about the songs and the language of the songs. These are just a sample of the excellent materials that are available on the American English website for teaching English listening. Before looking at more resources, let's consider what we are doing when we teach listening. Listening is mysterious because we can't see it. How can we actually teach someone to listen better? We want to get some insight on that question from our expert today. Her name is Professor Jamie Wilkin, and she teaches speaking and listening at Iowa State University. I asked Professor Wilkin how she became interested in listening. How did you become interested in listening? Well, a short answer to that question is that my interest in speaking brought about my interest in listening. One of my undergraduate majors was speech communication, and my experience as a student and later as a speech teacher gave me a strong belief that to be a good teacher, you need to be a good listener first. To expand on that, I often teach an introductory public speaking class. And interestingly, there's a whole chapter at the beginning of our public speaking book devoted to listening. So you might wonder what the connection is between the two skills, but it becomes clear very quickly. After the class starts talking about situations where they might need to speak, everyone quickly realizes the need to listen goes hand in hand with speaking in those situations. For example, a person might need to give a presentation at work or at a conference. Well, what comes at the end of the presentation? Usually a question and answer time, right? The speaker needs to listen to the questions before responding, and audience members have to listen and comprehend the information in the presentation to form the questions to ask. Listening and speaking work together in communication. An additional reason for my interest in speaking comes directly from my ESL students. Every semester, I ask them to tell me the situations where they want to speak clearly, and I have noticed that the situations they mention all involve a lot of listening. They want to participate in casual conversations with native speakers, participate in meetings and discussions, and communicate online in English with people who speak many different languages. I want to help my students succeed in these situations, so I teach them how to listen. Professor Wilkin noticed that situations where students want to be able to speak all involve listening, too. This means that the students need to do a lot of listening. In the next video, I asked Professor Wilkin to tell us why she thinks listening is so important for English learners.